this program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. Previously on What's Poppin'. Hey, John, I got them. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at them right now. Um, yeah, get over here as fast as you can. Let's go. Hey, John, you sure this is gonna work? Yeah. All right, John, go, fire away. Oh my God, what did you do? Finished it. What are you doing here? It's time we end this once and for all. Hey, John! I got you covered, Seth. This is the way. Seth, I'm here! Save me! Finally, something we can agree on. This thing, can we have five more minutes, please? Five more minutes and lights out. Thank you. Hey man, can I have Pepper back, please? I don't know why you took her from me in the first place. You bought her as a joke. You didn't even want her. I know you're not gonna take care of her because you said she had doll hair, remember? So I wanted to give her a better life. Yeah, but after I unboxed her and I got a good look at her and all the accessories she came with, I realized she was actually pretty cool after all, but then you stole her from me. All right, if you really want her, if you're actually going to display her and not just have her around because it was a joke or I dared you to buy it, then I guess it's time for you to go back with Seth. Here you go, man. Peppa, you're back. I missed you. And that concludes the Peppa saga. Poppin' everybody, it is Saturday and we are back on the hunt. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the final piece of the Peppa saga. Um, you know, it was fun shooting that. It was fun coming up with the stories for it and everything. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to take that video. Uh, I'm actually going to take all the clips together and I'm going to put it up as one video so you guys can just watch the entire saga and not have to, you know, watch the intros for the, uh, for the hunt video. So there'll be an individual video going up of just all the intros to make the story complete for the Peppa saga. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't worry, we've got more storylines in the works. We got a good one coming up uh, starting the following week, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this one. This one's gonna, this one's probably gonna be the best one we've done yet to date. The storyline we've come up with is, is gonna be hilarious. So I hope you guys are gonna look forward and enjoying that. Um, also, I did start my Saturday off on a right foot because we did get a mail call in today from my man, Jared, the insane goon. So thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And of course, you guys must know it's a hot toy because why else? What else do I buy? I buy hot toys. That's what I do now. So I'm super excited about what I bought from him. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. Um, I'm in the car right now, obviously trying to figure out where I want to go. I mean, everywhere has just been absolutely dry and horrible lately. And yeah, I mean, we got lucky the other day at a couple at the GameStop I went to. We found some Black Series, which was kind of cool. But, you know, I definitely want to try to see to find other other stuff. So um I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to go. So obviously once I get there, you guys will know. Also guys, if you are new to the channel, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It does help push the video out there for the rest of the world to see other than just the people who have already subscribed. So please be sure to do that. And uh, yeah, so guys, I will see you um, 
at wherever I decide to go. So I'll see you shortly. All right, guys, we are here right now outside of, you guessed it, bits and buttons. So let's go inside and see if they get anything new in. Guys, we're here at the turtle display when you walk in. So we got the Technodome, we got the sewer layer, we got some vehicles. There's some of the Super 7 ones that are still in there, which are really cool. You guys can get a look at that. Uh, there's more of the Super 7s up there. Some of the regular vintage carded ones. They're pretty cool. And we got some Lucy's. Oh, that's cool. They got like little mini battle pay sets. That's cool. They got the Mutations ones. Krang, the android body. It's pretty cool. And then obviously they got more loose figures over here. They got some of those Batman and the Ninja Turtle ones. They got Baxter and Splinter. Um, <clears throat> coming down here, we got some Star Wars stuff, some three and three quarters. Hey, what's the deal with these figure arts? Just gotta go back and oh, yeah, some guys which you guys can see, there. pretty cool. Um, we got the uh, Star Wars glass case over here. We got Dengar, Commander Obi Wan. We got Qui Gon back there. We got a we got a wild uh, Dominic sighting. What's up, man? What's up, man? You want to put you want to you want to plug uh, Swaggle? Yo, don't forget March twenty eighth. That's right, March twenty eighth, Sunday from two to five. We got the King. It's small style. Hmm. Horn Swaggle, former WWE Cruiserweight Champion, is going to be right here at the shop, signing autographs, taking pictures. Don't forget, swing on by, guys. March 28th, you got a whole 30 days to prepare. Make sure you guys come check us out. We got a lot of signings coming in, and we got a really huge signing for May. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you, Dominic. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so that's right, guys. Get your Swaggle on. If you are a wrestling fan, you definitely are not going to want to miss out on that. Got some artifacts pieces in there. Got some three and three quarter vintage. Got some play sets, some tauntauns. <clears throat> we got a bunch of black series. Got Kylo, Sith Trooper, Jet Trooper. We got Chewie. Got Admiral Akbar. They got Django. They got Anakin. They got the Purge Stormtrooper. They got Sabine Wren. There you go. Oh, there you go, Rocco. Rose for you. Right there, Rose Tico, just for you. That's got the Imperial. Like I know, man. I've seen your posts, dude. You people are just coming in and bringing you Black Series like crazy. And you see how many come in. There's none in the back room. Oh, no, they're all gone. The minute they come in, you yeah. post it. They, people come running in yeah, and they're all gone. That, that shelf has been yeah. destroyed. Not to mention, we've had cases of Mace Windu come in. We've had uh, five cases of Soka Tana come in. So you're just talking just in sheer numbers right there. So you yeah. got eight, uh, six. So you're talking 42 boxes just of those, plus the three collections. Jesus. And that's all that wall looks like. Unbelievable. Yeah. Come to Bits and Buttons, your wall gets raided. So wait, so hold on. So when everybody says that they message us all the time and we never get back to you guys, that's the reason why. We get really <laughs> tied up, guys. Um... I can take my breath, math off so I can breathe. Yeah, go um, guys, please. I know a lot of you guys message us through Instagram or through Facebook. Um, we do the best we can to answer everybody's messages as soon as we can. Um, so it takes some time. Just please be patient because, like I said, we do get a lot of orders through Instagram and Facebook. So if you message us right now, if we don't catch it right then and there, it usually shoots down the feed like 30 or 40 names. And then if we don't get it within a few hours, it's usually. Whoop! Toodaloo. But please be patient, guys. We're always looking after everybody that sends us messages to place orders. We appreciate everybody out there in uh, MCE and all our What's Poppin' fans. Can can we get a can we get a sneak peek at what you got going on here? Oh, so we got a really massive Star Wars pop collection. So somebody just dropped off a Star Wars. Look at that, the holographic Emperor. We got R two Q five. I see we got a biker biker scout. What else? We we got an Ewok. One of the first Ewoks of the encounter on Endor. Look at that. This is an entire Star Wars pop collection. Oh Jesus. Alright, so, so I'll let you I'll let you get back to that. It looks like you got a little digging to do. What's up, Alex? What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got some more three and three quarter stuff. This I actually saw, which is pretty cool. The uh, diecast uh, Grievous. This is good. 
right That's cool. I like that. The diecast Grievous. I haven't seen that before. That is cool. I might grab that. That thing looks freaking badass. And they got uh, C-3PO, Vader, Anakin. What else do they got? They got a Stormtrooper and they got R2. So, alright, let's go take a look in here on the other side. So here's all the Marvel stuff, all the vintage toy bays. Um, then we got some Legends. We got some loose figures going on here. We got Iron Fist. Captain Marvel, Magic, Captain America, Ant-Man, Storm's back there. Got a few loose figures. We got Rocket, Star-Lord. Got Dark Beast. So, <clears throat> got some Falcon. We got some DC stuff going on over here. Some loose figures and some carded ones. Yeah, Superman. Got a uh, Kotobukiya, Batman, Arkham City. And then, of course, the wall of wrestling. So, a whole bunch of vintage stuff. These are all like the old Jack Specifics, which are pretty cool. Used to have a bunch of these. And then they got some of the, uh, the classic superstar ones. They got Macho Man and Andres. And then, obviously, the, a lot of the newer elite stuff they got. So, if you guys are looking for any wrestling stuff in the area, definitely come to Bits and Buttons for these figures. Oh, it looks like he's got the um, the new wave of uh, the Masters of the Universe. So he's got Macho Man, he's got Becky. Who else has he got? And he's Roman. He's got some AEW figures. He's got a whole bunch of loose wrestling figures. So if you guys like loose figures, there you go. Also, he's got a display case here of all the old um, Hasbro ones. Or LGNs. I think they were LGNs, yeah. So, got Virgil, Warlock, Texas Tornado, Papa Shango's back there. Pretty cool. And then he's got some Elites. Got Piper, Flair, Hogan, Warrior, Junkyard Dog, DDP. Got Brock, Heyman. Got some also some vintage ones over there, which is pretty cool. And then he's got... A whole thing of uh, belts which is really cool so got some build the figures over here got the uh, venom pool got wendigo we got uh, crimson got sasquatch got venom and then you got a whole bunch of the reaction or super seven uh, three and three quarter figures got some statues in here which are pretty cool. So, all right, there is a Transformer section that he has on the other side. I'm going to go check that out because I think I saw a Transformer that I wanted to get. So, hang tight. I'll be right back. There is Transformers display case. So, we've got a Bumblebee. Got some old school ones down there. Got some GoBots. Got Optimus Prime. Got some other. Transformers. We got some street sharks mixed in. And there's the uh, the fire truck Optimus Prime, which is really cool. Then we got some for the Transformers movies, and then they got the War for Cybertron. I might actually grab this um, Star Screen. Looks kind of cool. I think he's got another one, a different one back there. Let me see. Or is it the same one? This one is. The Siege one. I don't know what the difference is between the two. I kind of like the way this one looks better though. So I might grab I might grab Star Screen. Gonna keep looking though. They got Optimus Prime, which I already got. Uh, yeah, let's see what else. Uh, that's cool. It's got a Mumra. It's got the uh, Skeletor, which is kind of cool. Got a whole bunch of. NECA stuff. Uh, there's the uh, the female gremlin. Huh. That's pretty cool. We got Bill and Ted. And I uh, oh, got Texas Chainsaw up there. Terminator. Uh, let's see what else. Got here some Samurai Cyber Squad. I don't know what those are. Uh, then we got some 
vinyl mason and some other loose individual figures in there. And we got some vintage Masters of the Universe stuff. So, all right, guys, I'm going to continue to look around. Um, if I find anything, obviously, I'll let you know, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I decided to pass on this Starscream over at uh, Bits and Buttons. Um, you know, I'd rather actually buy the uh, the three zero ones. Um, so I'll wait for them to put that out. I also want to get that Blitzwing too, and I definitely want to get that three A Soundwave. So, yeah, those damn those damn Transformers figures are so sick by three zero. So, all right, guys, we're here right now outside of a Target. So let's go inside and see what they got. Down the figure out right now. Nothing for WWE. Uh, Slamberlands the cage. We got a Macho Man. Uh, they do have a Moth Gideon and He-Man, Battle Cat, and then Prince Adam and the Sky Sled. Uh, only thing for Marvel Legends they got is Prowler and Peter B. Parker. Got some Ghostbusters, Ecto-1s, some Power Rangers. Nothing in the way of Transformers. Um, as far as the DC stuff goes, they got Joker, Flash, Asriel, and that's really about it. So, all right, uh, let's go see what they got down the uh, NECA Funko section. As we're here down the Funko NECA section right now, we got a bunch of pops. Don't see anything of the Target Con from yesterday. We've got Billy Eyelashes, We've got some 10 inch pops, We've got the uh, Creep Show, some Dune, Sarah Connor, and your regular NECA stuff that they have here. They actually got a Jason mask. Pretty cool, so. Alright guys, uh, let me figure out where I'm going to go next and I'll let you guys know once I get there. Alright guys, let's continue on down the road of toy hunting depression right now. Because again, we can't find anything. Um, yeah, so where else do you go to get depressed? That's right, you go to Super Target to get super depressed. So let's go inside and see what they got. All right, guys, we're here at the NECA Funko section right now, and I don't see a whole lot of anything. They got some Sun Gokus, Wonder Womans, uh, the damn eyelash, some 10-inch stuff. Uh, they got Lord Licorice with the Torticon stickers. Uh, got some NECA stuff over here. They got Richard Simmons, some horror stuff. They got Force Effects. Kylo lightsabers, but that seems to be about it. So, all right, uh, let's go see what they got down the figure aisle. We're down the figure aisle right now. We got some Jurassic Park stuff. You guys can see. Um, got some Masters of the Universe. Got Battle Cat, Prince Adam with the Sky Sled. Doesn't seem like anything for Black Series. Uh, we do have a Captain Cardinal helmet. We got Andre the Giant. Got The Rock, we got Shinsuke's, Bianca Belair, Drew McIntyre, Bailey, some basics. Uh, let's see what's on the other side. All right, guys, we're down the other side. They got Earth 2, Batman, Joker, Asriel, um, really nothing for Transformers. They got Grimlock and Wheelie, but I already have that. Um, they got some of the reaction ones. They got Megatron and Fallen Leader Prime. Um, they got Blur, they got the Ecto-1, some Power Rangers, they got some of the Gamerverse Marvel statues um, for Marvel figures. Oh, this is funny. I wonder where they dug this out from. And they got Peter B. Parker, and they got the Spider-Gwen and the Spider-Pig, and uh, yeah, that seems to be about it. So, alright, guess the hunt will continue. Haven't found anything yet today but i am excited about the mail call i still got so um i'm 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 uh, trying to keep my happiness up about that at least so all right guys i'll see you at the next place all right guys we are here right now outside of walmart so let's go inside and see if they got anything guys we are down the funko neck section right now um looks like a lot of the same old stuff over here they got the uh, the hawaiian punch guy uh superman Getting a lot of the regular stuff. Got the uh, fig pins going on. Uh, some of the Q figs with the turtles and Batman. Got some other figures. We got the uh, Deathstroke. 
<coughs> uh, yeah, that seems to be really about it. Not much of anything down this aisle. So with that being said, uh, let's go see what they got down the figure aisle. We're down the figure aisle right now. Some Scooby-Doo stuff. Some of the vintage Ghostbusters with the Ghost Popper. Uh, we got some legends uh, from the Joe Fix-It wave. We got the Cap Iron Man. We got Mach 1, Thunderstrike. Uh, let's see. Nothing in the way of Batman. Uh, we got Admiral Thrones. We got Luke, Han, and Jar Jar. Uh, really nothing in the way of Transformers. I got most of these already. And some Halo stuff. And here's some WWE stuff. So, again, they got, like, nothing. And there's the uh, Slammin' Cycle with uh, Undertaker. So, and there's your Masters stuff right there. So, uh, yeah, guys. All right. Um, let me figure out where I'm going to go next. All right, guys, and I am back home not having much luck finding anything in the stores. This is just, like, a reoccurring thing in the past couple of videos. I mean, it, it's it's okay. I get it because the stores aren't stocked, um, which is fine. Again, I get it. Um, you know, they're waiting for stuff to come in. Um, there is one positive takeaway from this. The amount of money I'm saving by not buying anything. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I told you guys earlier in the video, I got an epic mail call in from my man, Jared Insane Goon. So thank you, brother. He reached out to me. He said, hey, he goes, I'm selling this one and I wanted to give you first crack at it. And of course, you know, anytime you offer up a hot toy to me, I'm more than likely going to buy it within reason if it's something that I'm looking for. So without further ado, let me show you guys what I got from my man, J-Rod. So this is something J-Rod got from... Big Dub, and uh, he had it for a little bit, but he realized he wanted to um, pursue a different a different hot toy. So he, you know, so obviously he decided to sell it to me, which is fine because it goes with my collection and it goes with all my stuff. So there we go, boom. So from Iron Man Two, we got the Whiplash Mark Two diecast. This thing is a beast. I've been dying to see what it looks like in person from the pictures Jared sent me. It just looks freaking amazing. So, let's see what we got. That is pretty cool. Got the uh, Mickey Rourke portrait. The helmet goes on magnetically. Let's take this out. Oh, man. Ooh, this is a nice piece. Let's put his head on where it belongs. There we go. Oh, this is cool. So, you guys can see there is the Whiplash Mark II suit. So, that's about as good as a look as we're going to get for now because... I'm going to have to read the assembly instructions on this. Or, you know, obviously, it, you guys will know, it'll probably make its way eventually to an episode of The Lounge. So, super cool. So, thank you to my man, Jared. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate you reaching out to me, wanting to sell this to me. So, thank you. So, guys, as I said earlier, also tomorrow is Tate's uh, Park and Swap. Um, it's from 9 to 3. So, I will be there. Uh, George will be there. Uh, Diamond Dave is coming along, and also I'll be meeting up with Mike as well. So um, looking forward to seeing Mike. I haven't seen Mike in a couple weeks, so uh, definitely looking forward to hanging out with him and spending some time with him. And also Diamond Dave, I haven't seen him in a while either. So yeah, guys, again, super cool. So Jared, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Um, Jared does have a Twitch channel so what i'll do is that i'll leave the link in the description below for his twitch channel so you can go check him out he's always streaming playing call of duty him and josh do that all the time and it's hilarious so you guys need to go check that out and uh yeah so guys i'll see you tomorrow at tate's park and swap what's popping everybody it is sunday morning and we are back on the hunt um again thank you to my man j rod or insane goon for uh, selling me the uh, Whiplash Mark II. That thing is a freaking beast and it's awesome. And I can't wait to do the uh, unboxing on it and then uh, 
get it on the display. So thank you again for that. I appreciate you reaching out to me. Um, like I said last night, guys, we're on our way to Tate's right now. Um, they're having a park and swap, which is fantastic. Um, I have found like really good stuff there in the past that if you guys have watched past park and swap videos that uh, I've done at Tate's, I've found some really, really good stuff at some really good prices. So I'm super excited that they're doing this. Um, and yeah, so we're in the car right now. Um, George is going to be meeting us there. Um, OG Geek is going to be meeting us there and we're going to be seeing Diamond Dave. So, uh, and who else, you know, who, who knows who else we're going to run into while we're there. So, all right, guys, we're in the car and I will see you once I get the tickets. So stay tuned. This is going to be fun. All right, guys, we are here now at the Tate's Park and Swap and look who's here with us. The Marvelous Lights. Pop in, everybody. <laughs> so we're here at the Tate's Park and Swap right now. Uh, as you guys can see, let me flip the camera around. You guys can see it's already pretty crowded and people are already here nice outside. buying shit up. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go and uh, see what they got. Right, guys look who's finally here and who made it with us it's diamond dave hey what's going on diamond dave i miss you i haven't seen you in like know. forever oh God, really it's been, it's been like over a month i know i feel you know depleted on my hunting and yeah now it's like a refill today exactly hang out with my buddy exactly got the little one yeah yeah we got we, we got we, we got the little one here today too we got my mini me you say hi mini me 
Hi, hi. All right. We're going to continue to look around. There are some other booths I haven't hit up yet. I did wind up picking up that Wolverine that I showed you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's keep looking around. There he is, folks. An OG geek in his habitat. What's up, buddy? How you been? Haven't seen you in a hot minute. What are you looking at? Comics. You're looking at comics? Yes, sir. Comics? There's really not much out here to look at. Yeah, it's true. Unless you want to spend $140 on a Caradun. No, I don't want to spend $140 on a Caradun. Right. You no, know, go figure. That's, I usually buy two of every figure. You know that. Yeah. I do one in box, one to display. Yeah. That's the only one that I bought one of and I opened up. Uh, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Although I can never ask for prices for that thing. Yeah. But it would have been cool to have it for a giveaway or something. Yeah. Like the Anything good? Yeah. Bring by. Tell Brian. Ask Brian. Well, I'm going to look through this too with you. So. All right, guys, we're going to look through some comics. We'll be back in a second. All right, so we got some Super 7 stuff over here, which is pretty cool. Got Raphael, got Splinter, Baxter Stockman. Oh, they got the Lino from the Thundercats. Crap. They got the Play Arts. They got some Marvel Legends. They got this amazing Yamaguchi. What's up, Ash? Got some other stuff going on right here. So I'm going to take a look at this, and I'm going to take a look at that Super 7 Lino. And uh, yeah, obviously I'll let you guys know and then I'll meet up with Mike. Guys, we're here at the Hot Toys section right now. Obviously you guys see a lot of the usual stuff that they got. They got the stealth suit, the Venom pool. They got Iron Man's. They got the yeah, Night Monkey, T'Chaka, Star-Lord, Nebula. They got Captain Marvel, the Neon Tech, Iron Man. They got Spider-Man 2099. They got Black Widow. The Venom Pool, they got the Mark 85, which I think this guy wants like desperately in his life. I want the Michael Keaton Batman. You're gonna get it? Not that one. Oh, well, you want one that's in good condition. I want one that's in good condition. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at him, it's funny what though, because this? like, do you see like, do you see like the way his cape's open? It's like, hey ladies, you wanna see my junk? <laughs> <laughs> you see, am I right though? He's got the cape open, he's like, you put that on my head? Oh, cause cause it's, how can you miss it? It's right there. <laughs> hey, hey, in the words of our esteemed good friend, Big dub. Package! <laughs> what is this? Uh, that's from James Bond, Live and Let Die. I don't know what company that is, though. Hmm. Alright. But I think I think OG's gonna go for that fella down there. Did you just let me relax? I'm in. I'm, I'm spending your money I'm for you. My money I'm for spending me. your money for you. <laughs> so, alright, we're gonna continue to look around and, uh, yeah, we'll see if we find anything else. Did you find anything? What did you find? Who is that? That's Mickey and Donald. Who else? Who's the little snow guy? Olaf. That's Olaf? Okay. And then dog is Pluto. There you go. Everybody, this is little this is a little poppin'. Okay? We got little poppin' with us today. So, alright, we're gonna continue to look around, right? Yes, sir. We're gonna spend some of your money. No sir. Yeah. <laughs> alright, we're down the Marvel section right now. We got some statues, some SH fig arts. What else we got? We got a diamond, a diamond to stand there, shining bright like a diamond. There you go, baby. <laughs> got some of the quarter scale uh, figures over there. I used to have that one, the Civil War one. Oh, is that Magneto? Got some pops, and then got some of these uh, Diamond Select figures, which are actually pretty cool. I like that spy, that spectacular Spider-Man. That That's one's pretty dope. I always like that. So I like that. That's cool. And they got what if Captain America? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's Wolverine. Farmer Wolverine. Yeah, it's Farmer Wolverine. They got the Pirate Deadpool. They got Vulture. They got Loki from Ragnarok. They got some of the retro figures. You know, we're gonna let Little Poppin. We're gonna let Little Poppin take over. Little Poppin. Um, name off some characters. Go ahead. Who do we? Who do we see? Wolverine. You see Wolverine. Who else do you see? Another Wolverine. Another Wolverine? I'm um, in the car. Who's, who's that? <clears throat> and who's, what's that? Uh, what that? Okay, who's that? Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at, who's that? Captain who's behind Captain America? Hey, see? There you go. Little Poppin with the knowledge. Hey, give me, give me, there you go. <laughs> Little Poppin, my prodigy. Uh, let's see, so, alright guys, so we're, 
pretty much done here in the Marvel section. Let's see if they got anything new in the Star Wars side. Oh, that's cool. When did they put that out? They put out this uh, R2. That's good. Don't. I don't know. Yeah. We got a Dubak and a Sand Trooper, a speeder bike. Got Poe's X Wing. We got some carbonized Boba Fett's. Got some three and three quarter figures. We got your Tate's commemorative Star Wars plates. We got Boba Fett and the Mandalorian. You got some Stormtrooper helmet. And a Mandalorian helmet. I'm so proud of you. You know, like, all this stuff. Anything good? Oh my god, this is a try. Yeah. Dude, I've never seen this empty before. Yeah, I know, right? Six forty nine for the helmet. Well, yeah, it's a custom custom helmet. Oh. Wow. You got some, yeah, just dry everywhere right now. Daddy. Yes, Shaky. So I want that Sith Trooper. That's a, no, that's not a Sith Trooper, that's an Imperial Guard. Oh. They brought these down, these were up there. So. Wait. A red one like that, that is like a Sith Trooper? No, that's a... No, no, like a red. Oh, a red, a red Trooper like that? Okay. Yeah. That's a Sith Trooper. Alright, we're going to keep uh, looking around, guys, but yeah, it doesn't seem like... There seems to be much back in here. There's a guy outside that is waiting for me. We were going to do a deal. So hopefully I can pick up what I was asking for. And uh, yeah, so we'll continue looking around. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film in here because again, I'm in here all the time. You guys always see everything that's in here. Um, I'm going to go back outside and see if I can work out a deal with this guy. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. And I am back home and I had an awesome time today at the parking spot hanging out with obviously George, OG Geek, and my man Diamond Dave. It was a lot of fun. Got to hang out with Joey and Nilda for a little bit from way back when. Got to see a whole bunch of subscribers and a whole bunch of friends I haven't seen in a while, obviously, because of the coof. So, um, yeah, let me show you guys what I picked up. So, I was negotiating with this one guy at this one booth. He had some really cool stuff. I always wanted one of these figures to test them and see what it was like because I've always seen so many people say things about them. So, I picked up one of these um, Revo Revotech, uh, the amazing Yamaguchi uh, I picked up the Venom figure, which is kind of cool. So, again, I've only seen people ever talk about these. Um, I've, I've seen them in person, but not one that's really caught my eye. This Venom one actually really caught my attention. So, I wanted to give it a try. So, I will be doing a review on this at some point. Because, again, I always like to find new companies to test the limits of the figures to see what the quality is. So, I can tell you guys, in my honest opinion, what it's thinking. You guys can, you know, give me the feedback on it, whether you like it or not. So, pretty cool. We got Venom. Then next up, at the same booth, I was negotiating with a gentleman, and I picked up the Super 7 Thundercats Lino. It's the only one he had, but when I took it out of the box and saw it, I was like, dude, I was like, I'm, I'm not leaving this booth without this thing. This thing just looks absolutely ridiculous. So, got the cool Thundercat symbol on there, got the logo on the back, which is really cool. And let me just show you guys. This thing is just ridiculous. Again, this figure is freaking nothing but straight fire. Uh, this thing is awesome. Oh, God, the two head sculpts, the Sword of Omens. Oh, so cool. Yeah, this thing is just awesome. I, I couldn't pass this up. I had to buy it. So the guy was kind enough to work out a deal since it was the same both booth for buying both of these. Then there was another... Uh, booth that had something I've never seen before. Um, it's something that we're not allowed to like really go into much detail on about the channel um, because it's not a licensed. It's not a licensed product. Um, however, I thought I saw it. I thought it was really cool, and I had to pick it up. So this is what they call Eleven. It's a um, six scale company, um, and I really don't know anything about them. But I saw the figure, and you guys saw it from the video. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. Freaking from Logan. That portrait is just absolutely amazing. Um, unfortunately, because of sponsorship reasons and things like that, I'm not going to be able to do a review on this. This is just more for my own personal um, collection because I don't have a Wolverine. And this thing is just freaking amazing. So if you guys have any questions about it, um, you guys can always shoot me a message on Instagram or you can shoot me a, a message through uh, Facebook or whatnot and um, I'll answer any questions you guys have about it.
All right, guys, and that is going to wrap up another hunt video for this week. Guys, do not forget to go check out my man, OG Geek. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll leave the link in the description below for his channel. Um, even though they weren't on camera, it was great hanging out with Nilda and Joey. I'll leave the link in the description below for Nilda's channel and the Instagram of way back when. And also, my good man Dominic over in Bits and Buttons. I will leave the link in the description below for their Instagram page so you can go check them out. And uh, yeah, it was also great hanging out with Diamond Dave too. So I was like, super excited to see everybody. It's been a while. And uh, yeah, so guys, if you like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of What's Popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer at MCE. And until next time, guys, that's what's popping. Guys, I seriously hope you thoroughly enjoyed the Peppa Saga. Like I said, we're going to have more storylines coming your way. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys on the next one.